Get the two curves in there and the future is picked up beautifully from the skipper and dispatched over the fence. That'll get it rolling straight onto the stumps. This is the problem, you know, to make that call, okay, there's less swing, so I'm going to actually hit the pitch a bit more and take Meg across the crease or a fifth or sixth stump line. But on that occasion... ...out of the surface. That didn't touch the surface. No, that's not going to get any spin. That that's touched the middle of the bat. All the way to the fence. And a superstar like Meg Lanning, averaging 50, doesn't miss out on that. Ooh. Just chipped over the despairing hand of Sophie Devine oh. Oh. and chipped well enough to find the boundary. I don't think she'll be too concerned about that. This is the oh. battle. And unfortunately for Tuhuhu, he's got it wrong early in the over. It's a gift for Meg Lanning. Yeah. That's nicely placed. Timing just lovely. Races yeah. away and gets to the rope. So Lanning moves to 40. Positive and to convince themselves they've got plans which are going to be effective. And, you know, there's an example of um, something that could go either oh. way. Sorry, Belinda, but yeah. that went, that went terrifyingly close. close to that little chick. Pretty close here. Have a look at this. It's heading right forward at this oh. stage. Gee whiz. Well, Mum and Dad have just got to take one for the team. Oh. Don't... And tidy with the ball. And there's another half century for Ned Lanning. Her 14th 50 to go along with... I'm right in saying this, 1300s. Does it, did it have that... Um, she takes it long and strong, a glorious shot. And that is it. What a way to bring up the victory. Meg Lanning with a towering off drive over the rope. And that will be that Australia a dominant display. Standard a bit overs left to play. What a way to finish it. Yeah, our skipper finishes it in style. Amazing effort.